cemetery see members of the ladies and knights of St. John they are dressed up in their attire all dressed up in their attire He's also a member. Let's just give you an outside view of how the folks are out here. So, like, thank you to the activities marking the home going of the fallen lawmaker has begun with a parade members of the ladies and knights of St. John from the Catholic Church they are all here coming to bid farewell to their sister yes. family and friends are going to use the um, stadium upstairs And immediate family members will be at the podium alongside government officials. This is Spoon TV. We come to you live from the Samoa Kind of Sports Complex. Folks are now turning out in their numbers. They are turning out in their numbers, sympathizers, relatives, and friends putting it in to give a final farewell to the falling lawmaker. Of district number nine, Montserrado County. Let's take a walk outside of the uh, perimeters of the sports complex so that you see for yourself the number of persons who have turned up to be the lawmaker fairway. As the saying goes, the life you live speaks for you. And for more indication, the number of persons who the late lawmaker may have touched while she was alive has turned out uh, to bid her farewell. There are some funerals you go to, you won't see these outputs that you're now seeing, the influx of people, but the fallen lawmaker lived with her people peacefully, as you can see, they are turning out, back of them are women young women as well she was an icon a model who tap into the talents of uh, young librarian women and i'm telling young blood served in several capacities before becoming a lawmaker this is how the front of the Samoa kind of sports complex look like at the moment 
the health protocol is in tight the folks are washing their hands making the kids are also turning out where are they going they want to get upstairs and see how the funeral rites will be held top government officials are now arriving and at this entrance i've been told by protocol officers is where the president of the republic of liberia and other dignitaries will use you see um the speaker uh honorable buffer chimas he just entered he's dressed up in his uh purple suit black marching with uh, a black shoes just entered with his entourage this is how it looks like this is the atmosphere is gloomy out here as it relates to the weather condition earlier we experienced a downpour of rain we have a uh, former soccer player Oliver McCall and other guys they have come to uh, turn out to be prepared to the fallen lawmaker so let's go back inside so that you see how activities are carried out this is spoon tv coming to you live from the Samuel kind of sports complex you need not to be told all you need to do if you cannot make your way here tune in to spoon fm spoon tv we gave you a vivid description a vivid description of happiness here we will paint the picture in your mind for those of you in Redland, we definitely gonna pin the picture in your mind with our descriptive descriptive analysis on all of the happiness here so we are going through the folks are now going inside gradually What a sad moment here. A very sad moment here. A 
them. Stop moving here. A very sad moment here for Liberia and Liberians, so to speak. Very sad woman here. So we're gonna give you all of the happenings. This is where you have dignitaries, government officials, they are all gathered here. Right now, in camera is Moses Akaros Gray of District Number 8. We also have um, Honorable Alex. Taller is also here in attendance. Permanent men and women of the Republic of Liberia. They are also here. Spoon TV coming to you live from the Samba Kayando Sports Complex. This is the actual picture of the podium. This is the actual picture of the podium. My parents have turned out to bid farewell to the falling lawmaker. Honorable Akaros Moses Gray, walk on. We also have um, Honorable Abba Chie. He's also here. See the seat of the vice president is now empty. You also have the seat of the President of the Republic of Liberia next to the Vice President. And then we have the Speaker of the House of Representative. He's in a chair chart with Mr. Um, Charles <laughs> So let me take a call back and give you all of the 
of that you need from this funeral will be brought to you through Spoon FM and Spoon TV Live. Schools of Liberians are carrying out in their numbers. Ladies and lads of St. John, whom the falling lawmaker was a member, a dedicated member of this organization from the Catholic Church, they have turned out to bid farewell to the falling female gladiator, Honorable Mona Pena Yombla, President of District Number 9, and all of the uh, districts, they are turning out, gradually coming up to take their seats. The members of the Liberia Immigration Service, they are also here. Just to clear most of you doubt, Mona Pelham Youngblood, the late Honorable, was born and more like adding adjectives to it and breath within the Catholic Church, if we may term it. She grew up as a young miss and when she reached the stage of becoming a member of the ladies and knights of St. John, she honorably joined and have served diligently this noble organization within the Catholic Church. So it's no doubt that Honorable Mona Pen Youngblood, the late